And we start right now at 6 o'clock with breaking news out of Greenville County. The sheriff's office says three people were found shot at a home on Ivy Woods Court in the Fountain area. Two of them have died, so we know that the third victim as well has been sent to the hospital. Their condition is unknown at this time, but all of this unfolded this afternoon. Again, the Fountain area, it's on Ivy Woods Court, and so we know that this is a triple shooting. Two of the victims have died. And that's where we find Fox Carolina's Arthur Mondale. He joins us live to tell us more. Arthur, Arthur what do you know? Yeah, we're still in the preliminary stages right now, Carrie and Justin, and it, this neighborhood looks the way it should look when you have three people shot in a neighborhood and people are just getting off work. This is the point out here, cars can't even get through this yellow caution tape. At the intersection of Sedgwood Court and then at Woods Court, this shooting happened at 224. Cody, zoom in over there. You can see it's going to be the home with the green awning and the actual uh uh, garage that's actually pointed to us. Now, according to the sheriff's office, a call came in at 3.30 about a gunshot victim. Now, when deputies arrived, they found a woman lying outside with multiple gunshot wounds. When they went inside the home, two, two people were dead. We've learned that the they were all relatives. They all knew each other, and that's pretty much what we know right now, that one person was taken to the hospital. That's that female that I mentioned who was laying out front in the yard. And then, listen to this. The sheriff says that the suspect involved in all of this was actually arrested, arrested in Spartanburg. We don't know their name or their gender, but yes, they have been arrested. They're now calling this an isolated incident. No need to basically call into that 2-3 crime number. But they are thankful to these neighbors who say without them, without having those cameras, without them responding, looking at the vehicle that was leaving the scene, we wouldn't be where we are right now. I'll bring the latest when it becomes now. Reporting live, Arthur Mondale, Fox Carolina News. All right, Arthur, thank you. Important update there. They have made that arrest, so that is uh, quite the update that we've had from an hour ago. Mm -hmm. And you can stay connected the very latest through our free Fox Carolina News app. The easiest way to get is to scan the QR code there on your screen. The app downloads straight to your phone. And again, you can stay up to date with the latest breaking news.